Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tristan. Before we get in this video, I just want to say a huge shout out to Girl Caviar. As always, I shout them out in a lot of videos and they'll be there at the top of the description and they're pretty much having a drop today and they'll have more coming in the future, but they offer under market deals and really a lot of your favorite shoes even at retail prices sometimes. It's great. I used to service weekly. Here's a pair of, you know, I had some lucky greens right there as y'all can see, which I got from them and actually sold them for a profit. So yeah, huge shout out to them. And yeah, they pretty much do drops every week and it's really easy to make some money with them or just get your favorite pairs for a good price. So let's get into it. Also, don't forget to use my email, Tristan at growcaviar.com for $5 off your first order. So check that out and let's get into it. All right, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video, what I got going on for you guys is I'm pretty much gonna be discussing this shoe right here, the Shadow 2.0s and these are finally making some progress. So that's a great sign. This was a shoe that I'm pretty sure a while ago I said to hold. I'm pretty sure I made a seller hold video on this shoe actually and I'm very glad to actually see that it is now well, going up in value. This month in particular, at least last couple of weeks, it's really been rising. So if you want to hop on this investment, I would, because I mean, the original Shadow 1.0 says they're going for a, you know, a very, very high dollar amount. So, you know, if you want to go check that out, feel free. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much just getting to discussing it. So if you want to check my Instagrams, any of that down below, those are in the description. So feel free to do that. Uh, and yeah, you know, no like goal, none of that in this video. You can subscribe to if you want more videos like this. I don't know if I've already mentioned that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I have it. So if you want to feel free and then just, yeah, in terms of likes, I don't know, I'm just, I guess as many as possible. I appreciate you all as always. And yeah, y'all really been running up the subs and views lately. So if, I mean, we're, we got that 50K giveaway. I didn't know y'all wanted it that bad though. So I think, People are pretty set on me giving away a pair of Lightning 4s or something else like that. But so if y'all want something else other than Lightning 4s, let me know. I mean, I have a couple ideas in mind. You know, 50K is a pretty big milestone, so I want to make it a memorable giveaway. Giveaway, excuse me, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. Lightning 4s, so I think that's a good giveaway, whoever suggested that. I appreciate you. But yeah, looking at this and really out on the price of these, if you want to go look at them overall and just go look at the prices in general, what people are asking, especially for some of these smaller sizes, like heading towards like a seven, people are paying $300 for them right now, or people are asking $300. And I've been, I've been seeing them sell for, you know, pretty high amounts. People are paying the high for these. And if you go look at the recent sales, I mean, they're all above a range of like 260, uh, like you got some around 250, 258. But these were originally, we, if you remember uh, when I was making videos on these, these were going for 220, 210. Like these are not going for anything. Like people are really just kind of ignoring these. And I, I mean, I kind of see why, you know, a lot of people did not feel these. A lot of people actually thought these were really ugly, but I actually thought it was a decent 2.0. However, I wouldn't add it to my collection. You know, I like ones, I like fours. Uh, you know, but just th this this was something I just had to leave out, you know, because I just it, I didn't feel it I was not feeling it. But yeah, aside from that, let's actually show you an example of how this one's going up So if you want to go look at a basic size I'll, I'll, I'll actually show you all size to show you all proof this one's been rising So I'll show you all the one that's going for pretty much the least amount So looking at a size 10 people are asking 250 and these been selling for around 250 right now But if you want to check this chart out go look at the last three month chart You can see this one has slowly been rising and you can kind of see it was at 240 here and now you can see up here, it is at like a range of 250. It's been slowly kind of heading up. I mean, SAS 10 has been pretty choppy, but if you go look at over just the chart all right here, and then you go last three months, I mean, <laughs> you can really see it right around here. And then also at the one month point, if you go look right here, you can also kind of see it in a, I guess, a more realistic version. This is how a shoe really rises. And this is a, a really good example of a shoe rising because you'll have people that sell for less and then it bumps back up less and bumps back up and then it continually like slowly does that and rises uh, up to a higher price. And that's really what we got going on here. Cause you can see again, it was around 200, 220 here. And then now up here, you can see it's around this 250 line almost. And I think it's actually crossing that right here. It's now you can see some people are paying 270. So when people start, you know, paying a bit more, when a shoe starts rising like this, I honestly think it's not slowing down cause it looks like it's doing pretty decent. And you can actually see the progress is still continuing. And I think this one would probably slow down around 300, $320. But then again, this could be a few hundred dollars, uh, four hundred dollars shoe, you know, in the future, like one, two years, of course, this will be one of those just because that's, that's how it is with any of these. It's a good colorway. Uh, although I don't like it, it still is, you know, one I can't ignore uh, and just say, you know, it's a bad one because a lot of people like this one. Again, I, I'm just kind of a hater on this one, I feel like uh, almost. But yeah, shout out to 2.0s. Do not ignore these. This is definitely something you should look out for. And I mean, just kind of looking at the shoe, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I didn't like I think the main reason I didn't like this shoe is just because this whole, I'm not a huge fan of the gray. I don't really have any shoes that actually have uh, a great theme on them, I uh, don't think. But yeah, I'd say best sizes to go invest in this one, honestly, would be these size, you know, smaller ones like five and a half through seven right here i mean these are doing pretty solid and you can tell i mean 
look at that. These these are doing well. Look at that. So, <laughs> yeah, I just would hold the Shadow 2.0. Like, you can actually, here, here's here's the original ones, the Shadow 1.0s. And you can see what these ones are going for. I mean, look at the size 10 in this one, going for $540. And people, you know, got a bid on for $475 on them. So, that's a pretty solid amount right there. So, these ones, probably, again, as I said, the Shadow 2.0s would slow down probably around $300, $350. Time to invest this now. If you already, I mean, if you already had your pairs for retail and you've been holding them, then good on you for staying diligent on those. I never actually got any pairs to hold in this one but it's been clearly shown you know if you had some patience on this one it is paying off and this is just you know this is just so much better than two pointers in my opinion i just i love these ones just i think the all black theme is just kind of what i like and i'll even rock with the gray here my friend has a pair of these i'm pretty sure i don't know if he still owns them but i mean yeah it's it, these these <laughs> he bought them for like a hundred something dollars because just they were going for nothing at the time and now yeah, well, that paid off, didn't it? Also, another good idea I recommend would be hold the bigger sizes, just kind of heading back into discussing it again. Uh, bigger sizes, so I'm talking 12 plus cents. Those ones are going for a bit less, and it's always good to sometimes pick up on those sizes that are going for less, because once the smaller ones start rising, they start following suit, and then, you know, people, people are, there's always demand, trust me, for Jordan 1s in those bigger sizes. For 12 plus, it's always good to be going for those, and then especially in like lows, not, not a bad idea to go for bigger sizes. Uh, Jordan, <laughs> Jordan 4s, you might as well always try and go for bigger sizes. They'll always go for the most, so, you know, this isn't a Jordan 4, but this one right here is definitely one that, you know, I, I'm actually might go pick up a pair to invest in this just to hold it for a little bit because I feel like I could get somebody that could give me a good price on this. I think, uh, you know, Grill Caviar I mentioned them at the start of the video. Uh, I think they're dropping some pairs this week, and if they are, then I'm definitely going to go for those. Just hold on to them because they have some great deals. And I mean, this one's rising right now, so you know, I'm not going to hate on that. And definitely help go pick that up. So don't forget to go check that out top of the description right there. And that's pretty much everything you need to mention about the shoe. I don't want to really drag this video out too long, just kind of a little short, uh, little reminder video, I guess, if some people are holding on to this one and just want to let you all know that your investment's paying off it's doing really good and go ahead and drop some ideas you want to see down below i already have a few i can do uh this week and i kind of have one in mind tomorrow that i'll probably do but i've classes started pretty soon but the everyday streak is still continuing i'm going to still try and stay as consistent as possible on it but it might change a bit again with my school week we'll kind of see what happens there i got to check out my schedule and all that but yeah we'll just kind of head into the outro right now so if y'all want more content like this again my instagrams are all that down below you can check that in the description everything's down there and yeah feel free to subscribe and like no like on this video just as many as possible i appreciate y'all yeah you know again that 50k giveaway is coming soon y'all really want that so i'm gonna be giving away a pair of lightning force for sure i think that'll be it but if y'all have any other ideas in the comments drop that down below with the video idea let me know and i'll definitely take that into account so that's everything that needs to be mentioned check out greg caviar check out everybody else there uh and yeah i'm tristan thank y'all for watching i appreciate your content support road to 50k and i'll catch y'all in the next one i forgot to end my screen recording but I'll see y'all then. Peace.